Hello guys, welcome back once again. It's me, James Samurai, and today uh, we're gonna be reviewing the game between uh, Gary Kasparov and Navid David Navarra. And this game was played in the seventh round of the Blitz and Rapid tournament in San Luis in 2017. And yeah, and, and before uh, getting to the game, I want to thank you, my four four latest subscribers. Uh, who is Imran Hussain, Mahmoud Magdi, Kate Turner, and uh, a subscriber with uh, some strange name, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, thank you to you, and I think you can also see it on the screen, the four latest subscribers, and and it gets some time to show your name there, maybe about a week, so if you subscribe and didn't see your name there, and don't worry, it's gonna be shown, alright, so... Uh, so yeah, let's get actually let's get to the game. So apparently, uh, Gary Kasparov had white pieces, and he started with e4, c6, d4, d5. We have the Karo Khan defense. e5, bishop f5, knight c3, e6, g4, bishop. And now from this move g4, you already <laughs> see the attacking style of Kasparov. Bishop g6, knight g e2 c5 that's the only idea of black to try to break uh to the center we don't have any other ideas apparently bishop e3 97 and f4 you see this how uh, attack fully kasparov plays here h5 and now kasparov finds a finds a really great move f5 which here black has to take on f5 they take and now you have this move g5 and the thing is that after this uh, let, uh, few moves. Uh, now we create this uh, square for the uh, an, out an outpost for the knight, and it's a really strong square. I mean, a really strong place for the knight to jump. Because if you jump here, uh, you can't be uh, uh, attacked. And it is a really strong knight. And then these pieces are a little bit uh, coordinated. I mean, what is the bishop doing here, and what is the knight? What, where this knight is going? I mean there is no future for these pieces so apparently yeah that was a really strong idea by Kasparov knight c6 knight f4 a6 bishop b bishop g2 sorry takes 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 and now you see how much pressure there is on this pawn so and now Navarro played knight c6 what is the point of this move why you can't take this not this pawn straight away and the, the thing is that you can say here with the queen takes and now you play castle and now the thing is that uh, y your king is safe you know the pawns are equal so it's not a problem to give away a pawn for black and because they were up a pawn the previous variations and also this pawn right now is a little bit weak so apparently it's really difficult to defend those I mean, the only move now to defend it, I mean, is this move, which finally looks already strange. I mean, what is this move? You know, so that's why, that's what Navarra had in mind. I mean, instead of playing this really passive position, to uh, at least play something more active. But Queen F2 was played by Kasparov, Bishop B4, and now Kasparov played Castle's uh, Queen side. So, and he's not afraid of about the capture, which, which actually Navarra played, he took takes because it's the, there is no real attack to white's king i mean there are no enough pieces for uh black so i mean you all right navarro played queen a5 okay you bring the queen but but what is the next i mean what is next you, there is no idea you know rook takes d5 was played by kasparov queen takes c3 and queen c5 now you just want to exchange queens and uh, navarro has to exchange queens he doesn't have any other moves takes, takes, castles, takes, takes, and in this position Kasparov plays rook d1. You see that he's not brushing with the, taking the pawn on c6, because he knows it, it is a weak pawn. He's gonna take it sometimes, sometime in the near future. So rook b8 was played, c4, rook d8, and rook b6. King f8, and now you can take the pawn, because now the rook is active, you know. Let's turn, let's go back to the previous position and see what what will happen if you take it if you take it then black straight away 
play this move. Now they have the file, you know, and they don't care about the pawn, you know. So that's why Kasparov decides that decides that uh, uh, a, a file is more important than a pawn, you know. So yeah, takes rook c8, king c2, bringing the queen right, the king right now takes takes and king c3, a5, rook a6, touching the pawn, rook b8 takes, rook b1, c5, rook e1, touching the pawn, and now Kasparov decided to give check, king e7, rook e7 check, king e8, and knight e3, defending everything right now, rook e3. King e2, rook h3, c6, check, and now king e3 was played by Kasparov. And I think this is the first mistake of Kasparov. A uh, better move was king c3 to protect this square, this really important square, because after king e3, which Kasparov played, Navarra played instantly queen rook c2, and now he uh, doesn't let this pawn to queen, you know. But after king c3, uh, black would have to. Bring king to bring the king to stop the pawn, which is really generous, uh, really difficult. So that's why he should have Kasparov should have played king c3. Well, he played king three, king e3. All right, rook c2 was played, and now e6, h3. You see that Navarra is not uh, uh, interested in, in taking this pawn. This uh, the h pawn is r real more important. Knight b4. F4 really a strong another another really strong move. King D4, H2, um, and now you have to stop the pawn. The only move, the only wide idea to stop the pawn is give check and rook H8. But now Kasparov, uh, uh, but Navarra ha finds another great idea check, and now Bishop E4. And now the, the really passive Bishop, which was passive, became really active. You see that it is really active now. It is really strong. C7, Bishop B7, stopping from queening, White, white from queening, King B6, Bishop C8. This is a great idea, and it has to be calculated because then the, the next few moves will, in the next few moves we'll see why this is a great idea. And now you have to take it. You know you can't not take it. Queen. And now the the thing is that it looks like uh, White found this move. Rook e8, and now you have to take it. Check. King e7. And now the only idea for white here is to play knight c6. And after knight c6, it looks like the, or that a, the king on e7 is in trouble. Because it, he's forced to go here. Yeah, and now queen d8. There is the move queen d8. And taking the rook, and now you. Uh, and now you become a piece down. So finally, that was Kasparov's idea, but he missed the move. Queen takes c6, a really, really strong move, which has to be calculated by Navarra five moves ago. And after this move, it's just winning because you have to take the queen. If king takes, then rook c2 check, and then you could take the queen, and this pawn is just really strong. And if you play queen takes c3, queen takes c6, which was played by Kasparov, then there is this move rook d6 and now you pin these two pieces and now you have to take it and if you try to queen by yourself with it takes f7 and you just move this move king d7 defending this pawn defend protecting uh the square f8 from to prevent this pawn from queening and now this pawn is really strong and is uh it will become a uh, queen in the near future and black so in this position that's why in this position uh, Kasparov as white resigned so yeah I hope uh, you enjoyed the video guys uh, and yeah uh, and be sure make sure you like the video because it helps me a lot you show your support subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and yeah if you wish to donate the uh, donate link is in the, in the, in the description and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next video peace